how do I select a good tenant and how do I get rid of a bad tenant? <laughs> well, the, uh, and I want to put most of our focus, um, in, my, in my property management company, we have uh, a lot of commercial properties uh, and commercial tenants, and we also have residential. Uh, the focus of my answer is going to be primarily uh, commercial here, and I'm happy to answer questions about residential later. But the things you want to do on the commercial side are, you know, do a credit check, obviously, maybe run a background check even. You may need to get their consent. But their services, any good law firm or you know, property management firm can uh, access, which will allow you to see what was there a prior bankruptcy, you know, you know, what's their credit score. They should voluntarily give that to you, and then you can look at, um, you know, the business. You know, is this a, a viable business? You know, is it a, is it an In and Out Burger going in there, or is it, um, you know, Mabel's Bead Shop? You know, and how much rent are they paying? And you know, sort of the branded chain tenants are, are sort of the highest probability of being able to fulfill the lease obligation in general. And the, the ma and pa one-off stores are a little more risky. But you can also, you got to look at each one on a case-by-case -case basis, see what kind of assets they have behind them. You can ask for bank statements and those sort of things. And, uh, you know, if you do those steps in conjunction with your leasing agent and uh, call on his and her experience, uh, that'd be probably a pretty good way to start. And so you don't have a tenant who moves in with a lot of promises and then, you know, stops paying rent after two months.